we finally have a free text-to-video software called Luma AI. As you can see on the left-hand side, this is Luma AI. And on the right-hand side, this is the video from Sora. Is the quality of the video from Luma AI as good as OpenAI Sora? Absolutely not. But still, for a free software, this is incredible. Again, as you can see, the quality of the video on the left-hand side from Luma is not that great. But still, it's pretty impressive as far as the movement because the prompt is pretty much the same uh, from OpenAI Sora. While Luma's is still impressive, to be honest, especially for something that is free and a lot cheaper, and most importantly, available for people to use and actually experiment with. And I'm sure they're gonna get a lot better. And again, for OpenAI, this is still a closed box. We don't know what was used to generate these crisp videos, right? They could have done a bunch of editing for this to look like this, right? Because for this one, this is done via a prompt and a picture. So it's still very impressive, and still there's a lot of unknowns, obviously, from from Sora. This is the video comparison of tour of the art gallery. Again, it does a good job of kind of going through and understanding the prompt. And I did not upload a picture on this one. I just basically copy pasted the prompt that says tour of an art gallery with many beautiful works of art in different styles. And this is what it generated. Again, still pretty impressive. The image is pretty crisp, not as crisp as open eyes, of course, but still very, very good in my opinion. As you can see, this is the exact prompt as you can see in the bottom here versus open eyes. So it still does a good job of kind of capturing the essence of the prompt and the camera camera kind of zooming in and going through and identifying different art pieces. So overall, very, very impressive. So let's go through and actually understand what this new free uh, Luma AI or Luma Dream Machine is. So you can go to lumalabs.ai and this is their main page. You can actually go on the uh, top right hand corner and press try now click on try now and you'll be able to sign up your email and they show a few of the generations that the community have built and to be honest these are extremely impressive and i would imagine they're made using uh, pictures because again if you just put a prompt i've noticed because i've been playing around for a while with it now if you just put a prompt it doesn't do a good job of generating it from scratch but if you attach a picture and then put a prompt in there it does a really good job of doing that because it creates really great pictures and adds motion to it based on the project if you already attach a picture to it. Since I've already have an account, I'm going to go ahead and actually show you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. And as you can see, I've already done a bunch of creations. If you click on your account, so you will see that right here on your, you're able to have 30 generation per month. And then after that, they obviously they will charge you for more. So like, you know, 120 generation per month, like $30 or so. But honestly, because 30 generations a lot, I've only generated eight of them so far. Uh, and you can use, uh, right now it's open to public. So you can use multiple emails to sign up um, and get like, you know, let's say you have three emails that you use, you can sign up up to 90 generations a month, which is basically, you know, a free standard account, in my opinion. So I would suggest go ahead and doing that because I don't know how long they're going to keep this thing open for public and as free accounts. I'm sure they're going to start to remove this free account very, very soon just because of the amount of demand that they have. So here's a great example of what Luma is capable of doing. So there's this account called Afraid to Sleep. I, I believe these guys are filmmakers, uh, but they made this incredible video using Luma AI. Uh, I'm assuming they attached images and just added kind of prompts as far as how the images or the camera moves and the scenes are designed. So let's take a look at it.
Again, very, very impressive. And um, again, this is made by Afraid to Sleep, and I can't kind of Afraid to Sleep. Um, so, so the, you you can tell just the quality of the video that could be produced from this just by uh, introducing images and adding motions or describing the motions in the prompt. Um, you can see the power of uh, a platform like Luma AI, where you just have the ability to essentially create movies from scratch. I mean, it's incredibly impressive what you're capable of doing just with AI software nowadays. It removes the cost of expensive animations at this point. Like I said, you really have the opportunity to create your own films at this point. And again, if you go to uh, lumalabs.ai, you'll be able to actually see from the community, the creations from the community and their main page, all of this that they show. And if you kind of at the bottom, you'll see you can actually click and it says Zach London. So this is made by Zach London and it'll take you to their Instagram page. Um, so you can see exactly what the creations were and who made it because they have obviously opened this up to public where they can generate and use their imagination to create high quality videos from zero to 60 seconds to 120 seconds actually. But the ones that on the free account it's limited to 30 seconds at this point so maybe they'll open that up to later later on to uh, more timing but at least for now it's 30 seconds which is more than enough again you can see all of the creators and if you click on them this will take you directly to their um, whether it's their x.com page or their Instagram page but you will see who the creators are and actually take a look at the other generations that they've created so again most of this the the, the links are from uh, Instagram the on their main page uh, because I think that's where the creators have posted majority of their creation using Luma AI. So again, very, very exciting. Hopefully more text to video platforms will open up um, and have this opportunity where people can actually test this out and use your imagination to basically create whatever you want at this point for content creation or just general filmmaking. This is absolutely incredible and I'm sure this is going to get even cheaper and it's going to improve more and more as time goes by. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.